Hello and welcome to News 18 Tech. I am Devashish Sakar bringing to you the top 3 tech headlines that you must read today. First up, Facebook is really worried about its growth in India as women in India decide to stay away from Facebook. Now Facebook is facing a hard time with growth in India which is one of the largest market outside the United States. The company's recent quarterly report highlighted the drop in users from India citing high mobile data prices. But a new reports from Reuters say that Facebook has far more than high data prices to blame for this drop. Facebook has come out with its own research that looks at the company's business in Indian market over the past few years and they seem to have chalked out a set of issues that are far more complex than just high data prices. The research suggests that women have moved away from Facebook in India, citing worries about their safety and privacy. It clearly states that women leaving Facebook will never help the platform succeed in India. The other main reason for the possible slowdown for Facebook's growth has been attributed to content riddled with nudity which again seems to be pushing away users to other platforms. The report also mentions that a complex UI and lack of support for local languages could also keep users away from Facebook in India. Now, the second most important news of the day is the fact that Zoom brings end-to-end -end encryption for its cloud phone service. That's right, video chat app Zoom has announced that it is bringing end-to-end -end encryption feature to its cloud phone service called Zoom Phone and it will be available soon on breakout rooms as well. Zoom said that users will have a new option to upgrade to end-to-end -end encryption during one-on-one -on -one Zoom phone calls between users on the same Zoom account that occur by the Zoom client. During a call, users can select more and see an option to elevate the session to an end-to-end -end encrypted call. The upgrade takes a second and helps add an extra layer of privacy to your phone calls over Zoom. When enabled, end-to-end -end encryption will ascertain that the call is encrypted using cryptographic keys known only to the device of the caller and receiver. Additionally, users can verify E2E status by providing a unique security code to one another. To make a Zoom call end-to-end -end encrypted, users will need to have a few things in place, such as the account admin will have to turn on E2E by the web portal. Callers will also need to be on the same Zoom account. They can also make one-on-one -on -one phone calls. Both callers have to use the Zoom phone call desktop or mobile client and both the callers will need to have automatic call recording turned off. Now the third most important tech headline of the day is the fact that WhatsApp now officially lets you migrate chats from Android to iPhone and vice versa. WhatsApp now brings official support for you to transfer chats from Android to an iPhone and even the other way around. The messaging app has teased the feature for quite some time now but now it is available for users to go ahead and use this capability without any concern. While the migration from iOS to Android has been there for quite some time, we recently got the ability to switch from an Android phone to an iPhone. You need an iPhone with iOS 15.5 version or later, while the Android phone needs to have Android 5.0 operating system or later installed. The latest WhatsApp version is available with this support on an Android device and you have to make sure that both the devices are factory reset and connected to a power source. They will also need to be connected on the same Wi-Fi network. So these are the top three tech headlines for today. I am Devachi Sarkar signing off. Don't forget to stay tuned to News in Tech for more tech updates.